Hi, it's Gary Brown from Akuma Tackle Tactics. I'm actually using Paternoster rig today. Paternoster rig is where you've got the sinker down on the bottom. You've got a short leader. You can either use a prawn, a piece of prawn, or a piece of squid on there. Right? And I'm actually chasing leather jackets. Now this rig, you'll notice that there's no swivel on it, don't need it. Right, all I'm doing is just dropping it down over the back. Right, getting some pressure on the actual rod tip. So it loads up like this. And then when it goes like that, I strike. There's no drag on the reel. But I do use a net to land the fish. Now I haven't been out here that long. And I've caught this leather jacket, which is an estuary leather jacket, so a yellowfin leather jacket. But then, up in the Burley Trail, came this leather jacket. Now, I'm going to have to check, because I don't know what type it is. I know it's definitely a leather jacket. It's got a spine on the top, only short. It's got a like leathery skin. But it came up, I fed it with some pearl prawns. Then I had a pearl prawn on the end of my paternoster rig, dropped it over the side, watched it suck it in, and then went whack and brought it up. So I'll be able to find out what that is. I'll let you know later in this clip. I'm out here using this paternoster rig again. I've got some lines out the back for a brim or a trevally, which I've caught. I've got a good leather jacket on here. Hopefully it'll it'll stay on. Yeah, it's a good leather jacket. There we go. Nice leather jacket. Very nice leather jacket for the estuary. Caught on the pattern Oster rig. So just waiting for the tide to change and dropping it over the side, allowing the rod to bend down a bit. Then once it gets a bit of a load up, then strike. What I'm using is I'm using a long shank hook because I have that parrot beak. I don't know whether you can. You can see it, but the long shank took is down a long way on there, and they got that big spine. It's a beautiful to eat. So there we have it. Nice leather jacket. Caught on an Akuma flexi tip rod, seven foot. With a little Xperia size 30 reel, 12 pound platypus 100 and the pattern lost three. So while I'm trying to catch these the leather jackets, what I'm doing is that the long leader with the swivel and the running sinker running down onto the top, putting a pearl prawn on it, casting it out, because you never know when a trevally or a brim or a kingy, I was busted off before on a kingy. I'm going to put this in this rod holder here, and I'll check the other ones, see if there's baits missing on them, if there is bait and I've had no hits, you'll find it's leather jackets. There you go, bring it in, no bait, leather jackets.
What you've also got to remember to do is you've got to remember the burley. I have some chicken pellets here. Drop them over the side. Give it a bit of a shake. Throw a couple of the harder ones out. Have it. Had an Oster Reed works again. Another good leather jacket. Drop it out the bottom. Sorry, out the back. Let it hit the bottom. Take up a bit of tension. When you feel a d -d 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 strike, because they have it in their mouth. Beautiful. As you see from that, it doesn't always work. But I reckon about seven out of 10 times it does. Slight bit of mayhem in the boat. Pull in a nice fair belly leather jacket. This one's taken off. Better get to it. What do we have? Not, not what I really want, but I've got a stingray. What it's actually done, it's picked up both of my lights. So I've got both. What a greedy guts. Oh, and we're off. This one's off again. I've only just cast it out.
we go. Here we have a nice little trevally. Another leather jacket. How cool is this? We just had the police scream off to somewhere. So whether we're going to pull somebody back in, I don't know. But another one goes in the well. Like it, and a plane comes together. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> 